we begin with Bayou, a Spanish startup that is literally offering a green energy solution, producing electricity from plants. Can you explain to me how this all works? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, uh, here we have a small representation of how Bio works itself. This is a small test tube, and what we have here, it's a really simple mechanism in which we find two electrodes. One, it's a copper one, it's, it, it's, a, it's an anode, it receives the negative charge, and below it, beneath it, we find uh, the cathode. It's a, a graphite electrode that receives the, the hydrogen from decomposition of soil. So, what we find here is a plant-giving substances, organic substances that it naturally expels through the roots. Mm -hmm. What we do with this uh, biological battery is to use bacteria to break them. Mm -hmm. And once they are broken, they liberate electrons and hydrogen. The electrons go through the anode mm -hmm. and the hydrogen goes through the cathode, the positive one. And when uh, going through the cathode, that hydrogen combines with the oxygen outside producing water. So we don't only create electricity, but also water as a byproduct. When you look at these two plants, you're obviously showing an example of, of the voltage that you can get out of something like yeah, this. Yeah, uh, totally. Uh, what we do here is, for example, here we are just combining each of these batteries uh, of these um, plant pots and um, well as you see we are creating a, a voltage this this voltage can be added if you had more of them and it could be used for basically anything this could be used for example to light up some LEDs and things like that when you have the beer panel uh, what you need it's the same thing that you need when using for example a solar panel mm -hmm. this is placed just beneath the uh, uh, surface of your of your garden. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you have to do is to place some grass or plants and as you can see here it's divided into different cells. They are all combined and when combined they produce more and of course if, if you want to accumulate all of this you will need a power collector, the same ones that you use for solar energy. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of the same installation and you won't actually need more in order to, to have a really constant uh, flow of energy. Cause so so why, would I, why would I choose this when I have to keep the plant alive mm -hmm. over solar energy, when I don't have to keep anything alive? Well, uh, actually this is oriented to place these panels just where you already had a green space. I mean, parks and gardens uh, are gonna be healthy in one way or another uh, even if they hadn't have this this panels yeah. so so the thing is that after all uh, placing these panels doesn't make a difference placing this panel just provides energy additional uh, energy yeah additional energy and a safe in water which is actually kind of a cool point as well how does it compare to traditional forms of energy is it much more expensive to produce uh, right now it's more expensive, uh, however, it's not mm, just related with money, but with, this, with space. Because when talking about money, it's okay. I mean, uh, each panel uh, has a cost of around 300 euros, uh, but of course you will need a bigger surface. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, to power up a whole house, considering that each panel produces like 3 watts per square meters, uh, you will require a 10 by 10 meters garden, which is a total of 100 square meters, which is a total of 100 panels. Mm -hmm. So that is the real cost. You can place them not just on a garden, you can also use green roofs just to place it on the roof. And you could also use, as I said, parks as uh, your future solar stations, which uh, would actually help you a little bit if you don't have a garden and you want to use the electricity from the city itself. So you were talking about um, you know, powering up an entire house with it. You're not quite ready to do that? Oh, at well, this particular point? At this particular point, we, we are kind of ready in, in the sense that we are starting to uh, place these panels in pilot tests in open spaces, mm -hmm. in, in parks, in some city halls and, and, and in some gardens. But the thing is that right now we are in a mm, stage of testing. Mm -hmm. After all, it requires a lot of, of trying uh, just right before starting to sell a product which is supposed to last for 10 to 20 years. Mm. Let's talk about money. Mm -hmm. You need money to get something like this off the ground. What's the process been like for you? Okay, well in my case, we started with crowdfunding, a product crowdfunding that we realized that, well, uh, 
crowdfunding is cool. We did a good job, but after all, we realized that it wasn't the way. Uh, we realized that a private mm, funding with smart investors that could actually not just give you money, but uh, also facilities, labs, a team, uh, that was even better. And we started with a line of gadgets just to never need funding anymore because we already had that, that support. We already have a team, a, a public, we already had uh, the labs that we wanted. So we just needed a track. Mm. And if we want to uh, fund this, this uh, project for, for a long time, we need to survive as, as a company. Mm. So, so that's our goal and that's what we're doing right now. So are you making money now? Yeah. You, you're in profit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, which <laughs> is always a positive when, when you're talking about a startup. You're only two yeah. years old, right? Yeah, as you're a already? company we're two years old. Yeah, <laughs> and you're already making money. We're already making money. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.